mobile robots could soon be in our homes and offices. The sight of a metallic human-like walking machine is common in movies, not so common in real life. Companies across the world, though, are continuing to invest in and creating increasingly human robots. The big disable launch of a biped robots Optimus by Tesla sparks the questions who needs walking robots? For most of us, a machine which moves around on its own doing work is a normal sight. A mop machine moving around at an airport terminal, a boxy robot holding a tray in a restaurant, a cylindrical robot delivering medicines inside a hospital, robotics and automated machines on wheels have become fairly Upquitious, a walking robots on the other hand is not so common. There are broadly two kinds of walking robots, ones that stand on two legs and those that walk on all fours. Some are theater but most such robots are now able to move around on their own. The UK's engineer arts has been making humanoid robots for several years now, mostly for entertainment and audience shows. It has created theoretical robots to work as mechanical actors. It is Robo, the spion uh, brings the house down with its renditions of prose and poetry. Boston Dynamics has been more edgy with its robots, made mostly for industrial uses. Its four legs dog-like robot spot is seen as cute and scary. At the same time, Boston Dynamics describes Spot as an agile mobile robot that navigates terrain with up resident mobility, allowing you to automate, it, automate routine inspection tasks and data capture safety accurately and frequently. Spot is being used in places where human presence is difficult or dangerous. Another robot, Atlas, works own two feet and can do impressive backflips. Boston Dynamics says that it is custom battery, valves and a compact hydraulics powers unit enable Atlas to deliver high power to any of its 28 hydraulics joints for impressive feats of mobility by themselves. Robots may not be a mass product right now, but they will be increasingly useful to sectors like mining, energy, manufacturing and construction. But the technology but the technology used for their individual parts will be of great importance and utility. The hands of Tesla's Optimus are biologically inspired designed. This means that have the various joints in the limbs and fingers are far more extra, uh, dexterous if the robot's fingers are able to lift a coin or thread a needle, then such a skill can be deployed in precision manufacturing. They can even be an aid to ailing humans who need constant, who need constant support. Several companies in India have developed robots too. This includes Grey Orange, Fanuc, uh, Grid Bots, and Wipro Parry. Most of them offers industrials and warehouse robotic solutions. A biped or a four-legged robot grabs attentions and excites. Will such robots soon become personal valets or conversations bodies? Will they bring us coffee in the morning and discuss a movie in the evening? Perhaps a four-legged robot could take our fate out for a daily walk, visualize the image of ideas of two four-legged creatures walking together, one with plastics and metals, the other with flesh and bone. Voyage assistants are already good at basic conversations and cleaning boards can bring coffee too. The question is how soon will this get two legs, be mass produced and be affordable, that time is not far away. Walking robots could be in homes and offices faster than we realize. 
Tesla has declared mass production of Optimus. Walking robots will become a consumer product sooner rather than later. Retail buyers will be asking prosaic questions such as repairs and after sales servicing of walking robots. Robots may not be a mass product right now. But they will be increasingly useful to sectors like mining, energy, manufacturing, and constructions. The technology used in them will be of great utility. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my channels.